So I'm back in Dreamweaver. I'm on the activities page of this Recreation Center website. And first thing we want to look at is just making sure we understand the different ways we can change image properties. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. I'm in the live view right now. I'm going to click on this image. And in the live view, you do have a menu to edit the HTML attributes of a tag. So I'll click on it. And here we can change the width and the height. We can change the alternative text if we want. In fact, I'll do that here to make this a little bit more descriptive. Notice that you can also do this in the property inspector. But as I mentioned earlier, on the test itself, don't be surprised if you are told to use a specific method to get this done. That's why it's so important to learn different ways to do things before you sit for this exam. So consider yourselves told about this. Notice that after changing that alternative text, the property updates down below here. So no problem at all. Now about adding interactive elements. Rule of thumb for the exam for real life purposes. If you're asked to add anything to a page, no matter what it is, you're going to go one of two places. The insert panel over on the right or the insert menu up top. Usually you can do this either way, but be aware that you want to know both methods just in case. From here, the insert menu, if we want to add a canvas, for example, under HTML, we can add a canvas. In fact, I'm taking a little risk here because I actually have the image selected. In fact, I don't want to insert anything at the moment because I don't want to risk losing this. So let me get the cursor someplace else. Let me go back to design first here. I'll create a little room here. So if I want to insert a canvas, for example, I'll go back up to the menu, I'll go to insert, I'll click HTML, canvas is around here someplace. So is animated composition, that's your edge animate file or files that you want to add. So you'd have to browse for those. In the same area, you've got video and audio. And if you're still using Flash, Flash, either an SWF or a video file. By the way, you can still use Flash. Good luck playing those on iOS devices, that's all. So I'll click on Canvas. So I've got a canvas here, and if I want, I can set some properties for it. I'm not going to worry about changing it right now, but the idea is if you want to add something interactive to the page, look for the Insert menu up at the top.